From the oldest capital city in the Americas, founded in 1325, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Mexico City. Tonight, it's another installment of the International Series, and we've got a good one on tap between the New England Patriots and the Las Vegas Raiders. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Well, the Patriot offense set to take over the defending champs in the AFC East. They've been the title holders 17 of the last 19 years, 11 in a row. But now this, of course, a year unlike the others. No number 12 on the field. Yeah, and it's hard to believe that one player changes the fortunes of an entire division. But Tom Brady's just that player. Although it will be interesting to see, partner, how New England decides to compensate for the loss of him. Is it Jared Stidham who's been on their roster? Or how about Cam Newton who they signed in the offseason? And remember, they do return the number one defense in the league, so they're solid on that side of the ball. And they have that coach on the sideline who's pretty good as well. And I think he's going to enjoy coaching a team of which there are actually doubts about for the first time in, let's say conservatively, 15 years. On second and nine. Newton, open man is Asiasi, the tight end. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Just beating the play clock is Newton. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 more on that one and another first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On first and 10, Newton. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. It is a nice catch there by Julian Edelman, and he's going to be a reliable target no matter who's playing quarterback. Topped 1,000 yards receiving for the third time last season. I just love his story. College quarterback to one of the top slot receivers in the NFL. Shifts by him at the 25 and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. Sonny Michelle comes out of a long line of terrific running backs from the University of Georgia and was a first-round selection for New England in 2018. He does not mind carrying the football, never turns down an opportunity. Top 10 in rushing attempts in the league in 2019. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders' 15-yard line. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. It's complete. James White. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now 
Everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. Gain of a yard. I haven't met a defensive coordinator yet that thinks second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. Playbook is wide open for an offense, partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. Newton looking to throw on third and one. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Nikhil Harry there to make the grab. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but my only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15, <laughs> that going. and he feels like he can get it done. Jalen Richard now on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. Well, the Raiders heading back out. And as we mentioned, first year in Las Vegas in the new stadium, of course. So this now year three of John Gruden's second tenure. 11-21 so far, Charles. Probably not what anybody had in mind. But what kind of chances do you see of the Raiders competing this year in the AFC West? Maybe a little bit better than some. Maybe I'm giving them a little bit more credence than I'm supposed to. But... I thought it was a team that got better last year. Remember, they were in playoff contention into December, which was not expected from that franchise. But their defense is going to have to continue to get better. Remember, 13 straight years, they finished 20 of their worst in scoring defense. That's an NFL record that they don't want to keep adding on to. But I do think the offense is going to be good if Derek Carr continues to emerge as their starting quarterback. Yeah, that offense last year, 11th in the NFL this season. High hopes of bumping into the top 10, if not better. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he'll look downfield for and that's caught inside the 30. And he takes his just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Give him 32 on the play. That's a well-thrown ball right there. This is where arm strength pays off because he's got to be able to get the ball both downfield and to the sideline. And that's one of the more difficult throws for a quarterback. And he put it right where it needed to be. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Got his man, that's Tyrell Williams. And he's got another first down as the tackle's gonna be made at the Patriots 14. 12 yards there and a first down. 
This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. That's going to be caught by Williams for a Raiders touchdown. Tyrell Williams there to make the grab. And the Raiders, they're within an extra point of tying this thing up. And the QB rating right now sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> but I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's right, the that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. had it each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kicks away now Bolden on the return and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line so back onto the field come the pads for their second drive and for them a touchdown their last go around obviously they'll be hoping to do that again and when you start plotting for this drive when you start thinking to yourself okay what are we going to do you don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now. First and 10 right at the 30. And he'll hand this to Michelle to get things started. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Running out of the gun with White. Takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. But Marcus Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. There the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. A shotgun snap for Newton. That's complete to White. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Sanu. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. A play fake to Michelle, now Newton. He's airing it out for Sanu. He rifles one that's intercepted. Jonathan Abram picks it. Then he'll take it all the way up near the 30-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. And now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. 
I thought when Josh Jacobs was coming out of the University of Alabama, he was an absolutely perfect fit for John Gruden's offense with the Raiders. And it turned out, in this case, I was absolutely right. Led the NFL rookies in rushing a year ago, 1,150 yards. In fact, the only rookie to top the 1,000-yard barrier. And this kid is a workhorse who can carry the football in any situation and catch it out of the backfield. But my eyes are still adjusting to the sight of Jason Witten in a Las Vegas Raiders uniform, but times change in the NFL, and guys would like to play, they find ways to continue their careers. Remember, Jason Witten came out of retirement to broadcast booth to rejoin Dallas in 2019, and at the age of 37, had 63 catches. Now here with the Raiders, they're looking for him to be a leader and contribute with big-time catches downfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Carr. It's Williams on the catch. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. Nice catch up by Tyrell Williams who got off to a hot start. Heck, I'd call it a blazing start in 2019, scoring a touchdown each of his first five games. And he has history as a big-time receiver as well. A thousand yards receiving for the Chargers back in 2016. To throw again on second down. Carr and a slant hauled in by Ruggs. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Caught left side, Williams. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Raiders have taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Now Bolden on the return. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. From the gun, here's Newton. Catch is made by Harry. And they'll continue to look for more catches like that from Nikhil Harry. He was New England's first pick in the 2019 draft. Had a disappointing rookie season, though. Only 12 catches for 105 yards and just two touchdowns. With his talent and his potential, this team needs him to step up. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. A throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 
First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now a first down throw for Newton. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. It's the former number four overall pick, Cleland Furl, that got in there to bring him down. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Throwing on third down, Newton. And he'll have his man, that's Adelman. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 33. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Off the draw, here's Michelle. And not much running room down to the 32. It was Maurice Hurst who got him down. Not only down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Second and nine. <laughs> Newton to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Nick Kwiatkowski. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Newton's pass intercepted. The Raiders take over first and 10 at the 27-yard line. Now after the INT, it's Carr. And nothing but daylight ahead. The 20, 10, and he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Patriots. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That ties the game at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. They told, him, they told us they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Here's a second and two now from the 33. 
Carr gives to Richard. And he stopped immediately there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. No gain on He has play. elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw on third and two. Got a man. It's complete. Williams. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. That'll put him at an even 50 receiving yards now in this first half. And it's a first down. First down, Jacobs, and the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Excellent tackle for a loss there by Dante Hightower. While he's been a leader for New England's defense for a long time, he's really looking to step it up in 2020. Lost Jamie Collins to Detroit, Kyle Van Noy to Miami, the linebacking crew, and the room going to be totally different. Now in season nine, Hightower's lost weight gap. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And a very good return as he'll take it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Cars pass. Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at the 40. Patriots take over first and 10 at their own. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Here's Sanu on the catch. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That's good. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. First and 10. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Off play action, Newton. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 14. A first down there on a pickup of 25. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game the play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game. And he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. He'll find his tight end here, Asi Asi. They'll contain him to just four, second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second and six from the 10. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. A four-yard loss on the play. Second and goal at the eight-yard line. It's second and goal. Back to the eight-yard line now. Out of the gun, Newton. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Ryan Izzo there to make the grab. And the Patriots have moved out in front. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. 
It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Makes the score Patriots 21, Raiders 14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here comes Richard on the return. And a penalty marker's down on the field. And they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. On first down, Carr. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. Now first and 10 at the 11. The Patriots take over first and 10. On first down, it's Newton. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the 1. Give him 10 yards there. And about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Well, looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They go power. This is Johnson, the fullback. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying to fool anybody at all, were they? There was none of this show you heavy set, bootleg it out. No, no, no. Big guys up front, hand it to the big guy in the backfield. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this carries into the end zone. And no return forthcoming for Richard as this will come out to the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Henry Ruggs, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. To throw again. Carr. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Hunter Renfro is a man he was looking for. And that takes us from second to third down. Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? 
Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Back deep for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and the Patriots take over. New England trying to get to place on offense. And now consider the lead. The question is, how much is good enough? Are you going for more? It's the NFL. There's never enough, I believe, because they get reeled in all the time when you sit on the ball. I think that they will try and move the ball downfield and try and squeeze a few more points out of this first half. They'll be careful. They'll be a little bit cautious at times, but also they will attack downfield and try and get position for at least three points. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And now the clock reads precisely one minute to go in the half. You want to run the one-minute offense? This is a good test right here. It certainly is, and definitely not a time to think about kneeling and going into the half. This is a chance to attack a little bit, but not having to get everything in one shot either. 10 yards here, 15 there. Work the sidelines, work the clock, give yourself a chance for at least a field goal going into the half. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. New England trying to get to place on offense. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give him a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it, because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. It's a gain of 35. I'm seeing a lot of hands on hips in that secondary, and I suspect a lot of mumbling under their breath as well because this defense has had no answer for the passing game here in the first half. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by Prince Amukamara. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Intercepted. The Raiders take over. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. 16-yard line. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we go up to Orlando now, Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Now comes the Raiders' offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now a man open down the middle of the field, and he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a good point there is they were able to connect. 
Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it and pick up first downs. Looks like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy on the flag. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Carr. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That one unable to develop. Never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now a handoff to Richard. And he's taken down inside the 30. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. Unable to corral him, he fights through. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 12 more yards there and another first down. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. He has a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. This will be caught at about the six. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That play gets them six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Short of the goal line. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Card out of throw. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll run it with Jacobs. 
No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Just shy of the goal line. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. All right, They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Now Bolden on the return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. On the handoff, it's Michelle. Five yards, now it's third and five. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. A shotgun snap for Newton. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. The Raiders take over first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and that'll bring up second down. By Lawrence Guy. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the Patriots' 37-yard line. <laughs> on second down, Jacobs. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And his carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. He'll find his running back here, Richard. Richard lost it, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. A fumble on the play. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half, but the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mentally. Get back to doing what you were doing well in the beginning of the game, but a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire that sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up a lead. You think you've got it going, and you also think, 
at any moment I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before, you and I both know it's not that easy once you get off the gas a little. Yeah, they don't want to see this lead diminish anymore. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. On first down, Newton. Caught by Sanu. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 40-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. To the air again, Newton. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Seven yards there and a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A give, this is Michelle. Working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second down and three. Again, it's Michelle. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. On first and 10, Newton looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 16-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing again on second down. Newton, this is White on the screen. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And so many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short gain. On third down, Michelle. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Four up three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. First, Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Michelle, they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. The offense on third down tonight, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the... And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriots score. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead.
Jador Wasser on for the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Patriots 35, Raiders 17. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. The Patriots take over first and 10. They'll run it. This is Michelle. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? the field goal Bailey will kick it away here comes Richard on the return and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line now the Raiders offense they get set to head back on the field and last time was it pretty one play and an interception we'll see if they can do better I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll set up to throw. It's a screen to Richard. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. 
Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Shotgun now for Carr. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And that's caught inside the 35. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. But defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Cars pass. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Second and ten. Throwing again. Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. Five yards. Now it's third and five. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Raiders on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. Car to throw again. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. Pass the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. Touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Roar Wasser now for the point after. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Makes the score Patriots 45, Raiders 17. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Here comes Richard on the return. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Raiders offense ready to go. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. The Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 26. Now Carr to try again after the pick six. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. 
difference of who we count real quick. He had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. Here's A.J. Cole now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They've got a chance now to put this game away following that last defensive stop and punt. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And it's Michelle once again. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 36. Seven yards there and a first down. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, when coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here, well, it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage, when one team is running the ball really well and closing things out, it's hotter for the defensive side, and they sag a lot quicker. Yeah, they say the dog days of August, the heat we're seeing here today, dog days of September, and the advantage right now on the offensive side. A gain of three, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, Michelle down to the 30 after a gain of three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. New England on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and four. He hits White, complete, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. I'm sure at times James White gets frustrated because he might want to carry the ball a little bit more, but when you catch it like that, that's how teams are going to use you. The majority of his snaps may come on passing downs because he can create big plays downfield. Second on the team in catches in 2019, he led his squad in 2018. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Second and 12. From the gun, here's Newton. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. He sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. And there's a catch there by Julian Edelman. And I know the conversation is very big on how much will he miss Tom Brady. But Edelman's one of the top slot receivers in the league and an uber competitor. He's going to miss his friend, but he wants to show the rest of the league that his skills transfer no matter who's throwing him the football. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Now there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead will swell by one more. 17. 
Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And now here come the Raiders. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. yard line. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. To throw again. Carr got an open man. It's Ruggs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. But this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Hunter Renfro is the man he was looking for, and that'll bring up second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Throwing again. Carr. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. It's the former Michigan man, Chase Winovich, who gets in there to bring him down. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. So long, everybody.